hi today we are uh, talking about uh, add-on plugin for contact form 7 and WooCommerce so at first try to show what's the actual plugin it is so this is a contact form uh, created using contact form 7 plugin and uh, we are showing product drop down from WooCommerce so this plugin WooCommerce product drop down field for contact form 7 this actually adds a drop down product chooser for contact form 7 and we can configure email for this form like this so whatever the user choose any product in email the admin will get the product ID from this shortcode okay so let me show how it works and how to configure this we have uh, u product drop down field for contact form 7 this plugin installed we have the woocommerce plugin installed and we have the contact form 7 plugin installed so this woocommerce and contact form 7 is uh, prerequisite for this plugin so we understand that and after we have this plugin activated uh, if we go to contact form 7 and we try to create a new form my sorry my test form save it once so u product drop down field so this is the new field comes from this plugin so let's copy this choose product so we'll put the shortcut for this button here click this so this is the uh, tag generator uh, comes from uh, contact form 7 connected with this plugin uh, by default whatever we are seeing this is the shortcut name if you want to make it re required then click this you see the instead is coming from here uh, hello multiple this is here show image show price so this is how it works uh, we can put category ID this is actually product category ID uh, this comes from the WooCommerce product category so let's see uh, we want to show all the products and we don't want to show image we don't want to show uh, multiple selection so this is the tag uh, we need to put inside the form editor and uh, this is the short code we need to put in email tab uh, or the email configuration uh, okay so I, I think we understand that here we get it okay we save this and we copy this form we try to add a new page my new page with cf7 form we put short code here so sorry i'm a bit lost <laughs> So this is the base so we see this okay and I have uh, email configured for mail trap for testing purpose now we'll try to submit a form but before that uh, we need to configure the email settings part 
HC. So this is the short code we need to put here. Project. What's so the ID five five zero? So we put here. Let's save it. So we have the email configured for product. So what we are supposed to see, uh, this will be replaced with the product ID user select from front end. So this is the page we are working on. Suppose I am filling with some test dummy messages. I select this product. So this is sent. I'm seeing here we get the product ID so this is how it works uh, now we'll, we'll try more uh, advanced short code okay so here is an example of more advanced short code we'll go to form so here the field ID was 550 I'm turning to 550 and all others parameter here are created from this window if we select everything if we put here we, if we put here so this is how the tag is generated i already have uh, a tag generated before i'm seeing this so this tag will make sure that this is required and the category id uh, this is coming from where we have a category ID 70 and this is the ID tag this is the class name tag uh, this multiple is for multiple selection show image show price so I'm saving once I'm going to my page now we see the images are also showing the prices are also showing and this is the multiple choose okay it failed because we have some fi required field not filled properly so let's try to send it okay let's send it and let's I we got it we get multiple products uh, with this plugin we have <coughs> sorry uh, we have more advanced short code uh, like without getting the ID we can get the product link in email so how to configure this how to configure this go here suppose this is 550 I copied from website so let's try to fix this okay uh, what we're going to get we will get a uh, link okay fine so save this so refresh this page try again we are going to get text based link because the email is plain text we got two links right so if we enable use HTML email uh, content type and if we enable reach equal to one now save now refresh this page go here go here choose choose the mail is appeal here appear here so we get link base so there are uh, others parameter we can get the product edit links and some others so this is how this plugin works i think i try to cover all the features it has and uh, that's it thank you